to get pictures of this and you always can arrange it. Do you not always arrange you it? You do, have to get pictures do you, of it. mother, <laughs> do you not always arrange the mail? I do, but you're acting like so you told I, me when to. I you told, didn't. But, son, what, is, what do you think it means when I say I need to get a picture? What the f do you think that means? So Son, don't try to backtrack and, and, and I, crawl. I, listen, I said I need to get pictures. Are you really gonna? Are you really gonna try to not? Get, you're gonna try to get out of any kind of responsibility on that. Take a picture. Get your little <laughs> in there. <laughs>
at all on this uh, install video so we can do a very good uh, real-time review and we'll get just a, a good true read on how these things really are. All right, so that's heck of a time. I'm trying to get that cotter pin out of there. We're going to take these pads out and look at them. I got some pretty cool info on these pads too. So I'm not sure the material that they use on the pads, okay? But what I can say, and it's pretty interesting, is the bike that we're going to be installing these on is the um, GT Aggressor Pro. And right now the GT Aggressor Pro has four piston hydraulic brakes on there. Can anybody tell me what kind of pads those are? Are those just regular resin pads? See the little shininess to them? So the neat thing about the GT Aggressor Pro is we thought it would be the best bike to install these on because it has the four piston hydraulic brakes on there, the MT420s, Shimano's. And um, the cool thing about these brakes is they actually say that they are compatible with the exact same pads uh, that you use with your Shimano MT2, uh, MT420s. So I thought that was pretty neat. That actually listed it. And here you can see, I would give it a squeeze, but I don't want to get any air in the line. But you can see the two pistons there and the two pistons on the other side. So there's actually a pretty good bit of room in there. And I think on the site, they advertise like 25% uh, more stopping power. I'm not too sure. But we're going to find out on the real-time review. Probably take this thing down Hayes Creek Run. All right, so you guys kind of see what we get with the uh, HB876 four-piston uh, hydraulic zoom brake. I want to take this off here. And our boy Carson Brooks hooked us up with these. I appreciate that, Carson. But I'm going to take them off since we're... If I can. Uh, I want to do a little comparison. I don't think I can take that damn thing off. There's been a few other pairs of uh, hydraulic brakes with levers I really liked. Thank you. You know how I did that, right? Just pinch the tip mm -hmm. and then pull it off. Oh, okay. Now, uh, what I want to do is, although this isn't a comparison video, these are the Shimano MT420s. These are four-piston brakes. They're very strong. And I want to kind of do a little side-by-side -side comparison. Not saying that we won't do a comparison on the real-time review, but I want to do a little side-by-side -side comparison right now and kind of show you guys the differences with the lever that I'm used to. Now, I would mentioned earlier with the lever here on the zooms, I don't really like it. It's the same exact lever as we ran our other zooms. I don't like how rounded it is, and it doesn't really feel like it grabs your fingers, right? And uh, it just kind of has a weird generic, I don't know, crappy shape to it. The levers on the MT420s, these are MT401 levers, and that's what came on the 420s. But they just have this effect down here that really wraps around your fingers. I mean, these brakes are so strong, they will put you over the bars. And that's one of the big negatives on this brake, the um, 420s, is that it, they're just there's no real modulation there. You really have to be doing the ABS effect on these things, because if not, you slam them, uh, you're going to lock up those wheels. So they are a little dangerous you have to really kind of learn them you know so i'm really curious on if there's any modulation or anything with these um the zooms here but you can kind of see that difference it's just not what i'm crazy about on the uh, zoom level. all right so we're going to go ahead and start unmounting everything and uh, while we're doing this i want to give a very big thank you and a big old shout out to the photo uh photographer photo man himself photo it's photographer. Old photo photographer it's a new thing he's he's come up with it it is old, a lebron photo not dot com lebron photo 12 cups of coffee man i am healing up lebron and he said wear some gloves dude first time and i don't know how they long tell him i haven't wore some gloves lebron thank you so much for the 12 cups of coffee man appreciate you all right one thing i do want to say whenever it comes to brakes i am super impressed with these Clark's 180 millimeter rotors that we've been rocking on this GT Aggressor Pro. Ever since the first hydraulic brake upgrade, I think it was the MT200s we put on this bike, and uh, it's still run the same exact Clark rotor. So, uh, man, uh, well, I'm gonna put some of those in the affiliate link below, guys. Those things are so tough, they're not warped, they were quiet from day one, and they're, they still continue to be quiet. And that's through a bunch of different types of brakes, man. Very impressed with these rotors. And they got a really cool design. I think they have a really good, um, heat dissipation um it really i thought was a selling point on these things but they talk about how much they can throw mud and all that and uh, they're serious i mean they really do with rain and mud it just flings it off there so the deflection is pretty good all right well if you guys can see me we got some bad news here it's stripping which the bolt's just stripping so of all things to strip that's going to be the best but i'm thinking yeah, about getting we just replace that yeah, but it's about getting it out now. So I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver and some uh, some channel locks and see if I can angle it in there and, and undo it enough. All right, so hopefully this content is good enough for old Ken. Underscore. 
Ken H. H. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> ten cups of coffee. Thank you so much for the ten cups. He says he loves the channel, loves the content. Uh, just keep up the good work. Well, he probably and did until this video. Yeah, he probably did until now. <laughs> until yeah. this episode. So, Ken H., thank you so much, man, for the ten. It really helps out with uh, being able to buy stuff like this, man. It's actually doing a decent job there. Like you're making progress. Oh, yeah. Got it? All right. We got it. We got it. Yeah, we're going to have to definitely replace that. I think it's aluminum. I got my magnet test. Hang on. Oh, it's corroded. Yeah. It was the uh, lug of Ken underscore H that got that one done. Ken underscore H. Thank you. It's all corroded. I called it. It's all corroded right there. But, man, I'm just glad that got out of there. I was about to start stressing, guys. Now, in the beginning... I was excited because it actually looked as if it wouldn't be too long for the 27.5. Let's move this camera so I can show you guys. And, um, it's not terrible. Let me show you guys. Show them. I'm going to show them. All right, you guys see this? So let's say we got it all strapped up here. All right. That's not going to be... I'm worried about that being safe. You know, I mean, look how much excess we have hanging off over here. We're not going to cut it. But I don't know how we're going to keep it from, uh, I don't know how we're going to keep it from jamming into the wheel. Look at that. That's, that's a lot. Let me, uh, let me put, let's put some zip ties on here and see if we can kind of tighten this up a little bit up front. I wonder if I can, like, spin this around. So I guess I can do that. Yeah, it's, it's, the hose even kind of formed for it. It's going to keep those out of the way and safe. And we're all about safety on this channel. Okay, you know who also is all about safety? Who's that? Oh, Thunder Lungs. <laughs> oh, Green Thumb. Oh, uh, Bean Bag Sitting. Naked Cheeto Eating. People are probably tripping out. Yeah, there's people tripping people out. People like Because we don't do these as often anymore, so yeah. they're probably tripping. It's still Poe Laws, baby. Dub Chuckle himself. Homeboy bought us Homeboy. seven cups of coffee. Poe Lawless, thank you so much. You know Poe Lawless's dream, was, everybody? I didn't know he was such into safety, first of all. But. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Poe Lawless's dream is to be a guest on our channel. Is it really? His dream is to be a guest on the channel. I said, man, well, that's like, you know, you could you could fulfill that dream. You know? <laughs> it could happen. That, that's understandable, you know? But my thing was like, uh, man, that, that can happen, Poe Lawless. But, man, thank you so much for the seven cups of coffee. And one of these days, homie, one of these days, man, we're going to get you on the channel. That'd be fun. I could totally see him being a, a hell of a good time. All right, so I'm going to mess with this reach adjustment screw on the inside of here. And I guess if you go to the left, it squeezes the handle in. But I want to show you guys, and I'm not on the bike yet, and this isn't where it's going to stay, but I kind of want to show you guys the comfort of this. Okay, so if I'm riding here, Definitely my two fingers can stick in there, right? It's not bad at all. Three fingers can fit in there. I'm curious if this is going to be a one breaker, but that's, I, th I was just about to get ready to tell the camera, hey, that's not comfortable at all reaching up, but man, that is a, uh, that's pretty comfortable there. I might be the spot I needed at, but I guess we'll find out in the trails and the reach adjustment is, is pretty nice just to be able to, uh, you know, go up there. The only thing is if I'm using two fingers and right there, it starts to grab. I want you to look at this finger. That right there is really starting, that lever starting to hit that knuckle like that whenever I squeeze it. So that's kind of a problem. But that's where it grabs and where it feels comfortable enough for my fingers. And we'll probably adjust them just a little bit, but I don't want to have to reach way out, especially going downhill. All right, let's start working on this front one now. See if we can get this one up there. And again, I do have a uh, 180 millimeter rotor up front as well. And I did have to get the adapter for it. Say you want to get these brakes and some 180 millimeter rotors and adapters. Make sure you guys have long enough bolts because the bolts that the zoom brakes come with, not long enough to uh, handle the adapter in there as well. All right, so another guy I want to give a very big thank you to. Huge support of the channel. Been a part of Wolf Dick Nation for a long time now. I might even have to not squeeze that one. It's old Jamie H4. The man building the cat's meow himself. Yes, he is building the cat's meow all by himself, probably. Something you know that surprised me with old Jamie H4. You know what he really enjoys about our channel? What's that? He loves the extra content, but it's the e-bike extra content that he really, really commented on. He says, "Man, I love the extra e-bike stuff." 
Uh, we got that one detached, but it might be a trail bike. Who knows? Yeah, they're definitely not terrible, but... Yeah, I mean, I, I enjoy the Hayoki. JMH4, we love the coffee purchases, man, and yeah, all the support from you. you, man. So thank you so much for that. But five cups of coffee, man. JMH4. All right, guys. Well, oh, there oh, you oh, have it. I thought it. you wanted me to get to the... No, I thought you were looking at the brain. Uh oh am I going to look at it? All right, guys. Well, there you have it. That was the Zoom HB876 four-piston hydraulic... Uh, break, um, I guess, uh, install on initial impressions video. What do you mean, guess? Now, uh, That's what we normally we, do. I know we threw some coffee shout-outs out there. All the guys that are showing us love. There's another guy I want to thank, right? That made the cup of coffee board, we'll call it, or the shout-out list. Five cup of coffee or more, it gets you there. It's old Wes Graves. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's been around for a minute. Yeah, yeah Wes Graves has been around a while. Wes Graves, thank you so much for your support with the five cups of coffee. Now he says he's a big fan of the Marin, old Cheech. The Marin? The Marin. The Cheech Marin? Yeah. Or Marin? Hopefully you enjoyed the uh, real-time review on that. I think he likes the name the, brand. He likes the name brand, like the local bike shop uh, style. Yeah. yeah, I think he likes Well, that. this summer, we're, we're supposed to possibly go down and see our friends at uh, the Bike Chick and them over with their shop. In Texas. And, yeah, hopefully we make it down yeah, and check it out. Yeah, might need to go see the Bike Chick. Um, but yeah, man. And everybody else that bought a cup of coffee, I didn't do the five, man. We're going to scroll you, so don't you worry. We're going to um, scroll thank, them? We're going to scroll well, you. Thank well. you guys so much for the support. But yeah, man, um, yeah, I'm looks, looking forward. Kind of, I kind of like the looks. Yeah, I mean, they're not Hopefully bad. Hopefully they work good. The only thing like is just the, the air gap there, you know, for the events. I mean, they're just, they're tiny, and they're real busy up there with them cotter pins. But yeah, well. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, guys. Very interesting break. And again, 75 bucks. I mean, if this thing stops us... You know, going down Heath Creek Run, it's gonna it's gonna be something. I don't know. But, Seventy five is is cheap, man. Yeah, definitely is. But all right, guys. Well, thank you all you coffee supporters again. Everybody appreciate you guys watching. Please like, please subscribe, turn notifications on so you guys don't miss us taking the old GT Aggressor Pro down Hayes Creek Run, baby. It's gonna be a good run, and uh, yeah, we will see you on the next one.